Freckled Zelda is a TikToker who recently was exposed and made a response video that was questionable. Yeah, I don't know um, if she knows that that's not the best way to prove that you aren't racist. That's probably the worst thing you could do. That's actually known as the worst thing that you could possibly do. And it was done in a crazy way. Well, I did a video on this yesterday and I'm back today because there is so much stuff. You know, I only found out who this person was yesterday, but after finding threads, watching some other YouTube videos that I hadn't seen and uh, just kind of scouring the internet, I found so much information on this person, which is crazy. They are originally accused of being like homophobic, Islamophobic, ableist, and also accused of like uh, being really inappropriate with a minor. From what I saw from the response video, I was like, oh yeah, no, she's definitely a bad person, but I don't know to the extent of this. Everything I've seen today is going to blow all of that out of the water. It's crazy. So we have this Twitter thread here. It says, my thoughts and comments on the Freckled Zelda drama. I do not support them. Which, by the way, I think I should make clear, I don't support them. I want to make it clear, I, I, I think they're a weirdo, even after the stuff that I saw yesterday. I, I wasn't sure how, to the extent of how bad it was, but after reading everything, I know it's considerably worse than what I originally thought it was. Now, she was accused of ableism. Now, in her response video, she defended her ableism by showing pictures of her on crutches, which we will show now. Basically, uh, that's fair enough. I was like, oh, okay. All right, um, you know, I guess she was making jokes. Well, the person who was made the jokes about, they said that they didn't like him. So that's different, okay? If the person says, hey man, please don't make jokes about me being in a wheelchair, and you go, oh, sorry, that's not great. Maybe don't do that. Like, you can see here that she tagged her friend in it. I guess that's one of her friends who is disabled. I guess she was trying to be like, oh, haha, look, I'll, I'll... I'll throw you down the stairs, which, you know, I, I don't know if she'd actually do that. I'm not going to be the person who comes in here and goes, yeah, she definitely meant that. You know, this tweet is like, oh my God, she said she'd do it. Okay, I don't think she would. All right, let's be real. I don't think she's going to push people down the stairs in wheelchairs. Uh, she's crazy, but I don't think she's that crazy. Although I could be convinced otherwise. And then obviously there was the stuff about religion, which, you know, I found weird anyway. She really doesn't like people who aren't Christian. Uh, now not everybody's like that. I said in my last video, a lot of people said that she should show respect to other religions. I mean, she's not going to come out and go, oh yeah, um, I think they should believe what they want to believe, because I think that's probably integrally against her own beliefs. So, I didn't think that was gonna happen, but she doesn't have to be mean to those people. Uh, she doesn't have to be mean to them, which she sort of is which isn't ideal. Now, the stuff that was really important was her sending inappropriate messages with a minor in a group chat. She had a group chat with a bunch of her friends and one of them was 15. Now, she showed a cosplay in her video that was unblurred and it was revealing, which is weird, but she was like, I'm wearing it out to Comic-Con. I'm literally wearing this outside. And you know, people wear revealing clothing outside. They do do that, okay? You can judge him, but people do do that, and it's not a crime. Maybe a bit weird to go out in public like that, but not a crime, okay? Weird, sure, not a crime. But I didn't see these text messages. No, she didn't put all of them in the video. Of course she didn't, because the other ones make her look really weird. So, of course she left them out. Like, look at this. I don't want to read this out, but why are you saying this in a group chat, in and about, with a 15-year-old? That's really weird. That's really creepy and weird. I'm not saying that she groomed anyone. I'm not saying that she had plans to do something crazy. Um, she's probably not a Minecraft YouTuber. But this is odd behavior. Like, why are you doing this around teenagers? I don't understand why adults do this. Like, refrain for having some sexual conversation with a kid, okay? Is it that hard? And then there's also stuff on here that's like accusations saying apparently she would walk around constantly at conventions, people would ask for pictures, and then she charged them for the pictures she asked for, and would also ask for free stuff because of who she was. Which, hey, I know influencers who are like that. It's weird. It's really strange behavior. Um, and when I say know them, I don't mean they're my friends. Obviously not, as in I've, I know they exist. Uh, one of them is called Alpha, but we've talked about them on the YouTube channel before. You might have heard of her. And here's Amy, who was one of the people who was in the wheelchair, who Freckled Zelda would take the mick out of for being disabled and would send like the threatening comments and tag her in. This is what she said. She said, Freckled Zelda, a creator I used to be friends with, lied to me, actively deceived me, and encouraged and liked and tagged me in comments where her fans called me slurs, wished me death, and said awful things about me and my disability. So yeah, Freckled Zelda, not a great person, okay? I think we can, uh, we can, we can put that one to bed. Not a good person. I do think it's important to be clear that she didn't send nude pictures in the group chat. That's important. You don't want to get stuff like misconstrued here. But having weird conversations sexually, that's strange. Clean Ballinger did the same thing and that was wrong. 
Um, I don't think Freckled Zelda is 45, but that doesn't really make it any better. I also made a comment in the last video where she was like uh, playing the ocarina, that's what she got famous for. And I said, oh, you should like avoid the ukulele. And then in her apology video, she brought up that she had cats and I said, oh, um, yeah, Colleen Ballinger didn't do that, so we can forgive her. But I remembered, actually, Colleen Ballinger did do that, didn't she? She did bring up her two Persian cats. The only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. So, what is it with people who are famous for playing an instrument bringing up their cats? By the way, mine are down there. You can't see them, they're sleeping. I will not bother them. But if I ever need them, they're only a uh, arm's width away. There's always something hilarious about drama when it's put on Twitter, though, because you've got, like, the trigger warnings. I'm not saying the trigger warnings are hilarious. But, um, it says, homophobia, transphobia, ableism, video, a forced religion, mentions of incest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like... That is not like a list that you want up against you, really. I also wanted to say thank you so much to the people who left comments on my video, just like genuinely informing me. I literally found out about this stuff yesterday. I didn't realize how crazy it was. Like the whole thing is insane. I got a comment here from Phantom Mothball that said, I feel like there's a lot missing in this video, Alex. Her ex is a trans woman who she consistently misgenders in her response, which I didn't know. That's not nice and unnecessary, but Kind of expected from a Christian religious nut job. But also, apparently, she just like intentionally misgendered everybody in the video who was transgender, even though she knew that they were transgender when they met them. Like, it wasn't like they transitioned after they met. No, they met them and they'd already transitioned and then they decided to call them by the previous gender that they, you know, were or weren't actually. So that's just so petty and strange. Like, if you're trying to apologize or clear your name, maybe don't resort to more transphobia. That's probably not a good idea. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through her apology with all of this new information and try and figure out what was a lie. So, uh, enjoy! Hello everyone, my name's Rachel Wilson, the person behind the character Freckled Zelda, and I'm here to publicly defend myself against the false groomer accusations and false claims. Okay, well, yeah, I wouldn't say that she was grooming actively in terms of the intention of meeting up with them to then uh, do stuff, but she was being inappropriate with a minor. And that's weird, like why would you send a message to a 15 year old about riding them? Are you a freak? I love how she says the character Freckled Zelda, I hate when people do that. This was you. It's not a character. This was you. It's not like a comedy character. You dress up like a nut job. Sorry, cosplayers. Apologies. Some cosplayers are cool, not this one. So I will insult them. You can't get away with the character thing. You're dressed up as a character. It doesn't mean you are one. Like I could dress up as Freddy Fazbear. It doesn't make me Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Freddy Fazbear. Or maybe it does. Who knows? It depends if I get spring locked, I guess. The situation has escalated to affecting my family, my friends, and my career. I'm here to clear my name and talk about the logical facts and evidence. This screenshot from a group chat was edited and blurred to make me look like I don't have clothes on. January 2023, I wore a pink bunny girl cosplay to an anime convention, and I shared the photos of my new cosplay to this group. Okay, well, here are the pictures. They aren't exactly the worst pictures ever, but would I say it's weird to send that in a group chat with a 15 year old? Yeah, of course it is. It is strange to send like any form of like revealing kind of like sexy cosplay in a group chat with teenagers. Can't even believe that's a word or sentence I have just uttered on this planet. But it's also the other messages. She's left out the fact that she was also messaging them sexual stuff. I see why. Because then it looks really bad. But there was also drama with her ex-boyfriend about stealing artwork, which isn't ideal. So let's see uh, what she has to say about all of that. The agreement was I pay him $50 for the commission to own the artwork. Here's a receipt of me sending him $50 through PayPal and me receiving the commission as a transaction in 2022. He also gave me permission to sell the artwork over text. I messaged him. I remember you gave me the price of $50 for the song cover. That's a pretty decent price. But then again, all the coloring, shading and stuff, that should be extra. His response was, yeah and I still feel bad about it. The context of that response is he felt like the price of $50 was too high to charge me when we were together. I messaged him, I make bulk of the artwork prints and sign and sell them for autographs at conventions, and I could say I bought the art from you so I could do whatever I want with it. He responded, that's true, it's yours to sell now. Now so that's one thing, they've agreed that she's gonna sell the artwork, which is uh, fair enough, okay? And is it shady to then sell all that stuff? Probably. I'm not really a fan of it. You know, I've had people who have designed my clothing and I have worked with artists many times before and I have done my absolute best to compensate them as well as I could do. And that wasn't $50, that was like 500 because you're gonna make loads of money off it. And there's actually a conversation here on Twitter with her ex, um, apparently, 
uh, where they basically go into more detail about how weird this stuff was. They say they did multiple pieces of art with her and then she didn't credit them and then didn't pay them any money further even though she made more money off it. Now obviously that's up to the agreement you guys made. That is very much a legal contract thing. Uh, is it shady to kind of mislead somebody and maybe not talk about the true intentions you had to sell it? Of course maybe recreating the artwork and doing stuff apparently she went on to like reuse it many many times uh, more times than maybe they originally thought they were agreeing to you know that's obviously not ideal you got to have those conversations okay but that's business and it sucks and I don't want to go into that because, frankly, it's between those two people. It's not between me. But she did go on to untag the account from all the art promoting the stuff. And that's just mental and really petty and so dumb. And then she changed it to the old name but didn't tag the account. So she just, like, cut this person off completely. Which, you know, that, I guess, wasn't part of the original agreement. And it's also just a weirdly petty thing to go back and do. But then also she used her ex-boyfriend's old name like was dead naming them all the time and apparently even said that she believed that they were lying about being trans and thought that I was lying to her because I didn't tell her sooner which is crazy but what do you expect from a Christian religious nut job they're just clearly a bad person and also they're using religion to hide behind it and now they're preaching this crazy positivity stuff to give the exterior look as like they are one with God and that means they can do no wrong and that they're following God's way so um yeah they're just disrespectful they're a disrespectful person uh, but this is just, like, so weirdly petty. This is the most chronically online, weirdly petty internet shit ever to go back and do this stuff. So strange. She accused her of being in an incest relationship with their sister because I said she was my best friend and the most important person in my life. Okay, well, that might have been a joke, but that's kind of funny that I made it in. That is kind of funny. I mean, they're a bad person, we know that. I don't think that needed to be added in. I think what we can get from this is that she clearly lied about a lot of stuff in her apology and hid stuff and just straight up left stuff out. And uh, I really appreciate people for informing me. I had no idea about any of this like 48 hours ago and I've just been picking it up as I go. But this is like crazy to read, especially the fact that she just left out the fact that she was like talking sexually with a minor. That's so strange. Um, also, the homophobia and religious stuff that's just actively available, that just kind of sucks. She's clearly just a bit shitty. But there's something so funny about somebody like pretending to be this ethereal elf creature when they're doing all of this in the background. Like, you are, that is not what an elf would do. You're an orc. You're an orc! Well, that's it for this video. I don't know if there's any more updates, um, but if there is, I will let you guys know. I greatly appreciate you guys supporting these videos, supporting the channel. It means an absolute ton to me, so I appreciate that. And uh, hopefully um, this video really gives a full picture to just how insane this whole thing is. I will see you guys in a new video soon. Peace out, people, and uh, have a good day. Bye.